Okay, welcome back on what is another very, very, very frosty afternoon. Um, again, I've got more layers on than an onion, but it's the only way to keep wall quite warm. It's uh, there's quite a bit of standing about, isn't there? Really, so when you're a photographer, <laughs> so you need you need plenty of layers on. But anyway, yes, you find me in Teesdale again, and not far from. Uh, where we've done some previous videos, uh, but they were in the summer or the early spring. So, yeah, in fact, that bit over there, look over there, that was a, a place where I did a wildflower video and how to photograph orchids, believe it or not. <laughs> so, but yeah, amazing area. Hope you can hear me as well. I don't have a mic with me today. I actually didn't intend to make a video, if I'm absolutely honest, today. Uh, I only came out for an hour just to see what conditions were like. And then got such a surprise when I saw how, how good they were, that... Uh, yeah, anyway, bad planning on my behalf, I'm afraid. Okay, so a bit of tricky icy ground here. Yeah, as you can see, We've got really nice thing in front of us. The waterfall, green, nice snowy rocks. That's the scene you can see ahead there. And as you can see the top of the waterfall still got some sunlight on it. So that's the reason I'm going to be using a, a 06 medium grad filter on it. That'll give me a couple of stops difference might just be enough I think. So one of the problems I have with this picture is that there's an area to the left hand side that you can see and it's very very black so the water's coming over the falls and then there's an area that's really really dark and I find it really distracting so that's the first thing the first problem I'm going to try and solve is to try and get that distracting area out by moving position across that way a little bit. and I just cannot get that really really dark black area out of the shot so what I've decided to do is go into portrait mode and if you can just see there so as you can see on the left hand side not quite as much of a, a dark rocky area on the left and it's balanced out by if you just look here there's a dark area and here there's a dark area so I think that's a little bit of a, a compromise but as you'll see in a second. There we go. I've actually exposed this as well by a small amount, third of a second. And it's just to stop the water blowing out a little bit because there's all lots and lots of contrast here between the dark rocks and the white frost and, and snow and of course the water itself. Right, having tried the portrait um, orientation, I still can't get the image I want. There's lots and lots of really dark areas of rock and it just, it just isn't working for me. So I think the way forward now, I'm going to zoom in and we'll cut out these lower falls and I think that will be the key to getting a good composition. And yeah, that seems to have worked. Uh, I much, much prefer the images where I've only got the upper part of the uh, cascades and then the main fall behind. That is a much, much better image. Um, a lot more balance in it and much less distraction as far as the really dark areas of rock. Okay, so this is the next um, composition. It's the tree. If I can just spin around and show you. So it's a tree going diagonally across the frame. I may try to, I may move the camera slightly more rightwards and try another shot with a little bit more of the tree in. But this gives it a little bit of, of context. What I really do like as well is just behind the tree, the last of the light today, the golden light is, is going through the trees there. It's, it's quite impressive actually. 
as you can see that's from there screws my rucksack in in the way so yeah really nice so i've took three shots in total now uh, one with the tree showing a little bit of the stream another with mainly just the tree in with the golden light behind and now this shot here as you can see where we've just got a close-up on the cross from the actual tree trunk itself okay we've got another spot a little bit further down i'm going to head to shortly uh, that's got lots and lots of um, icicles hanging so hopefully i'll be able to show you a little bit more there so as you can see there's some beautiful icicles here um, a tree fell down earlier in the year i can't remember when but it was in one of the previous storms and it blocked off the waterfall it used to be a really really nice view this uh, but now obviously the tree is blocking the way and it's going to be obviously here for some time but what it has allowed is the water's flown frozen uh, because of the spray coming off the waterfall it's created these wonderful icicles i think what i'm going to do here i'm going to get a shot where the water behind is blurred but the icicles themselves will be sharp try to put a little bit of focus on on the actual icicles themselves don't you know how close i can get we'll just have a we'll have a try and see how we manage okay so the only way really to do this is short leg of the tripod down there the long leg of the tripod there and then this is the actual view what i'm going to do next i'm going to try and get some separation between the icicles and the actual water itself and to do that i'm going to use a shutter a longer shutter speed still to get plenty of blur in the water but i'm going to use an aperture of something like i don't know f4 f5.6 and that should give us a little bit of separation there so shot coming up f4 this one iso 100 sixth of a second yeah that's nice good shot okay so yes happy with those um and that's pretty much it for today i think um to see how they come out i'm going to show all of the images together at the end um and if you would do me a massive favor if you do like this sort of stuff then please do give me a like and uh ideally subscribe uh, it all helps uh, also helps to keep the motivation up a little bit as well knowing that people are actually watching your videos so anyway thank you